The Wodabe people are a nomadic group of pastoralists who reside in the Sahel region of West Africa, primarily in Niger and Chad. They are known for their unique cultural practices, including their elaborate courtship rituals, colorful costumes, and distinct facial tattoos. The Wodabe people are a subgroup of the larger Fulani ethnic group, and they speak the Fula language. Historically, they were semi-nomadic, moving their cattle herds across the Sahil region in search of pasture land. However, in recent years, many Wodabe have settled into more permanent communities, while others continue to follow traditional nomadic lifestyles. One of the most well-known aspects of Wodabe culture is their elaborate courtship rituals. During the Jerwo festival, which takes place once a year, Young Wodabe men dress in brightly colored costumes and paint their faces with intricate patterns. They then perform a dance in front of a group of women, who select the most attractive men as their partners for the festival. The Wodabe people place a high value on physical beauty, and the Jer Wool Festival is an important way for young people to find romantic partners. In addition to their courtship rituals, the Wodabe people are also known for their colorful costumes and distinct facial tattoos. Men often wear flowing robes and elaborate jewelry, while women wear brightly colored headscarves and skirts. Both men and women also adorn their faces with intricate tattoos, which are believed to enhance their beauty. The Wodabe people also have a strong sense of community and social organization. They are organized into clans, which are led by chiefs known as Ardos. The Ardos are responsible for maintaining order within their clan and settling disputes between members. The Wodabe also place a high value on hospitality, and it is customary for them to welcome strangers into their homes and offer them food and shelter. Despite their unique cultural practices, the Wodabe people have faced a number of challenges in recent years. Climate change has made it increasingly difficult for them to find pasture land for their cattle herds, and many have been forced to abandon their nomadic lifestyle and settle in more permanent communities. In addition, the Wodabe have faced discrimination and persecution from other ethnic groups in the region, and their way of life is threatened by political instability and conflict. In addition to the Jerwol Festival, Music and dance are an important part of Wodabe culture. The Fulani people are known for their traditional stringed instruments, such as the hadu, a type of lute, and the molo, a one-stringed fiddle, and Wodabe musicians often accompany their songs with these instruments. The dance styles of the Wodabe are also unique, with movements that are both graceful and athletic. The Wodabe people are predominantly Muslim, and Islam has had a significant impact on their religious beliefs and practices. However, they also incorporate animistic beliefs into their religious worldview. Animism is the belief that spirits or supernatural entities exist in the natural world, and that these entities can have an impact on human life. The Wodabe believe in the existence of spirits and ancestors, and they often make offerings to these entities in order to gain their favor or protection. For example, they might pour milk or sprinkle water on the ground as an offering to the spirits. They also believe in the power of charms and amulets, which are believed to offer protection from harm. At the same time, the Wodabe observe the basic tenets of Islam, such as the five daily prayers, the giving of alms, and the observance of Ramadan. However, their interpretation of these practices is often shaped by their animistic beliefs. For example, they might pray to Allah for protection from evil spirits, or make offerings to ancestors during Ramadan. While the Wodabe place a high value on physical beauty, they also have relatively egalitarian gender roles compared to many other West African cultures. Women are responsible for tasks such as milking the cows and preparing food, but they also have a say in household decisions and are allowed to own property. Men are responsible for herding the cattle and providing for their families, 
but they also participate in household chores and child rearing. Education is becoming increasingly important to the Wodabe people, and many families are now sending their children to school. However, there are still many challenges to providing education in remote rural areas, including a lack of infrastructure and resources. Like many nomadic groups, the Wodabe face health challenges such as malnutrition and lack of access to health care. Additionally, the practice of facial scarification, which is done as part of traditional beauty standards, can put individuals at risk of infection. However, efforts are being made to improve healthcare access and provide education on basic hygiene practices. The Wodabe people have a long and complex history that is intertwined with that of the larger Fulani ethnic group. They are believed to have originated in the Senegal River Valley and they gradually migrated eastward across the Sahel region over the course of several centuries. The Fulani people were involved in many of the major West African empires, such as the Ghana Empire and the Sokoto Caliphate, and the Wodabe have played a role in this history as well. While the Wodabe are primarily pastoralists, they also engage in other livelihoods such as fishing and agriculture. Fishing is particularly important in the Lake Chad region, where many Wodabe communities are located. In recent years, some Wodabe have also become involved in the tourism industry, offering cultural tours and performances for visitors. The Wodabe speak Fula, which is a member of the Niger Congo language family. Fula is a widely spoken language in West Africa with an estimated 40 million speakers across the region. While many Wodabe are bilingual in Fula and the local languages of the regions where they live, the use of Fula is seen as a symbol of Wodabe identity. Like many other groups in West Africa, the Wodabe face a range of social issues such as poverty, inequality, and discrimination. They are often marginalized within larger society and have limited access to resources and opportunities. Additionally, the traditional gender roles of the Wodabe can sometimes contribute to gender-based violence and discrimination. The Wodabe are known for their deep connection to the natural world, and they have played a role in conservation efforts in the Sahel region. For example, some Wodabe communities have established protected areas for wildlife, and they use traditional ecological knowledge to manage these areas sustainably. In conclusion, the Wodabe people have a rich and complex culture that encompasses many different aspects of life. Their history, livelihoods, language, social issues, and conservation efforts all contribute to the unique identity of this fascinating group. While they face many challenges, the Wodabe continue to adapt and maintain their traditions, and their resilience and strength are a testament to the power of cultural heritage.